a 401k. It's a retirement savings plan. It really allows you to invest a portion of each paycheck before taxes are deducted. But when you change jobs or you need to move your 401k for whatever reason, there are a variety of options to consider. Our financial contributor, Heidi Hughescamp Collins, is joining us on the show today with advice on really picking the best option. Heidi, welcome back. Thank you. Well, this is kind of uh, the third part of a series on 401ks that you've been kind of coaching us through over these last you know, couple of months. So in the first part of your 401k series, uh, it was just all about 401k rollovers and uh, really the general options there. So, uh, and here's the information that you provided for folks. So option one, you can take the money out, but that can come at major tax penalties. Right. Um, if an employer will allow you, you can leave it in the old plan and, uh -huh. and do nothing with it. Um, or roll your 401k into your new employer's 401k plan, which I think is the route that a lot of people they do typically go. Okay, so the second part of the series, though, kind of got into the nitty gritty about uh, IRA rollovers and some options there. So we've got the information on the screen, but will you kind of describe for us the second part of the series, um, what this one was about, these IRA options? Yeah, absolutely. So uh, one option would be for the um, investor to roll their IRA over to um, the, the plan that had the 401k, like yeah. the Vanguard or the Fidelity or something like that, mm -hmm. they roll into an IRA with that company. Okay. So that's one option. Yeah. The other option is they can roll over the, the IRA to a financial advisor. Okay. So those are your two options there. Um, and encourage you to go back and, and watch that segment if this is something that you're dealing with right now. There's good information there. And we're going to stick with that theme um, today, uh, IRAs. But, it, you know, you're going to help uh, warn us of some pitfalls, uh, so to speak. Yes, I am. Okay, so when it comes to an IRA with the same company that had the 401k, what should we be thinking about? You really have to be careful. Um, investors don't know what they don't know. Yes. And, um, you know, that's that's fair. Yeah. So what happens a lot, there was a, there was a, a study, um, there was an article in the Wall Street Journal, big study from Vanguard, which is one of the biggest 401k companies out there. Sure. So you might have heard of Vanguard. Right. Okay. So the, the latest information was from 2022, and Vanguard had this huge study of investors, and it showed that um, investors, when they roll over a plan from their 401k that was at Vanguard, move it into an IRA at Vanguard, a lot of times the company rolls it over as cash. Okay. Now, that doesn't seem to be a problem. But it could be. Except when it is. Okay. So Vanguard found that a third of clients rolled it over in, you know, as cash and then didn't know they were supposed to tell the company to invest it or how to invest it. Okay. When, it's, when they didn't do that, it sat as cash, okay. not making any, any money. money. Oh boy. You know, and they went back um, to 2015 and then looked ahead to, tw to 2022. A third of investors at Vanguard had money sitting in cash for seven years. Wow. Seven years. And how would you know, I mean, honestly, to, to ask that if there was nobody really guiding you? No, you wouldn't. Yeah. You wouldn't. But, you know, what? that really adds up. A, you know, that's a lot of money. A lot of lust. A yeah. lot of money. And Vanguard estimated that for every year, investors just at Vanguard mm -hmm. were losing 172 billion dollars. It's a lot of money on the table. Earnings. Yeah, yes. that's crazy. Okay, so um, that's why uh, it's it's a problem. It's it's many times rolled into an IRA as cash, so that's something that we need to be uh, focused on and asking about if we're presented with this decision. Right. Um, and so ultimately, Heidi, uh, what are some ways that we can best protect and grow our money, <laughs> which would be the opposite <laughs> of what you just described? Well, it depends whether you're a do-it-yourselfer okay. or whether you're open to getting some help from an advisor. Sure. So if you're a do-it-yourselfer and you want to take care of your money and manage it yourself, sure. you've rolled it over to the company, to the Vanguard, to the Fidelity, to the American Funds, whatever it is, mm -hmm. and you have your, you have your IRA. And then be sure, now that you've been warned, be sure that you contact the company, make your choices as to how you want that money invested. Mm -hmm. You'll have to pick yourself 
for mutual funds that that company offers. Okay. Like the the 500, the S and P 500 index or right. the bond fund or you know whatever it is, you'll have to pick Do those all yourself. That yourself. And then uh, make sure, follow up, and make sure that the company, you know, follows your wishes mm -hmm. and gets that money invested. Yeah. If you're open to getting some help, you know, go to a financial advisor. Find yeah. someone who's a good fit for you and work with that person. They can roll that over and they can help you invest. And they can help you with where to invest it, too, because I, oh, absolutely. I, I wouldn't even know the first thing. And I'm sure there's a lot of people that are going, oh, come on, Morgan, you know. But but truly, there's also a lot of people that have no idea, you right. know, how to do this themselves. So, right. Yeah. You know, I, I would have no idea how to do plumbing yeah. you know so <laughs> that's perfect exactly <laughs> well uh, if you want to learn more about the variety of services that Heidi offers visit her website hhcinvestments.net and a reminder uh, this was the third part in a series on 401ks so if you want to see previous segments with Heidi just visit our website kwqc.com and click on the tab for Quad Cities Live Heidi uh, wealth of information no pun intended uh, thank you so much for being here today